ladies, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Daisy. If you are new and if you're not, thanks for returning. Today we have a full Fenty face for you. We are gonna get beat to the gods, as you guys can see. And I I purchased some Fenty Beauty products before, but I never had a full face, and I am amazed. I know I'm late, but better late than never, okay? <laughs> so if you guys are interested, keep on watching for this makeup tutorial. Today I have an exciting video. We're gonna do a full face of Fenty Beauty. I got a big package right here and we're gonna jump right into it. So first off, I'm gonna jump in with the primer. So now I'm gonna get into my brows. I already colored them and I just used a little pencil, wet and wild pencil, it's a dollar. A must have and it comes out dark and it has this thick pomade so i used that already and i'm going to go in with the concealer in the color 390. and i'm going to use concealer brush and use some setting spray from morphe and i am going to conceal these brows now I have the Fix It spray. We're gonna get into that later. Oh my gosh, there's nothing left. This concealer has done wonders. I was a little skeptical because I'm really late getting all these products, but I watched some reviews on YouTube on this video and it seemed like the concealer wasn't really like concealing basically. And you know what I think it is? People are getting the same concealer color that supposed to match the foundation. Not everyone, but that is the problem. So as long as you get a little shade lighter, I think it will make a difference because this, con this concealer is bomb for real. All right, got everything concealed. Ooh, now it's the fun part, the eyes. So I got the snap shadow. As you can see, it's a little dirty. I need to wipe this off. So boom, a little bit more cleaner. <laughs> I got the snap shadow in five and one. And let's see what look we're gonna do today. I also have the Moroccan palette. I like this. I just bought this and I already had the snap shadows. So I'm probably just gonna go into both of them. So first for the eyes, I'm gonna take this Moroccan palette and I'm gonna go in with this rosy color and blend that in my crease. And I love this mirror, it's like huge in your face. I can see everything. And you just wanna pat that in and then blend it out. So you just wanna pat it exactly where you want that color. putting a little bit towards the outer corner of my lid. Then I'm gonna go into my number five shadow palette and we're gonna take this warm orangey color. Now I'm just gonna take a clean brush and blend out these corners. And I'm gonna go back in with this pink peachy color and place that on top of my crease and in between both of these shades. And I'm gonna go back in with that darker plum red color. The key is to just blend all the colors together, go back and forth till you get your eyes very vibrant. Now I'm gonna use my concealer and I'm gonna cut my crease. Now I'm gonna take my flat brush and go into these two colors here. rosy color and we're just gonna blend right in the middle here mm -hmm. 
then I'm going to go in the shadow palette number one and go in with this brown shade and blend out the outer corner. And I'm going to take the darkest shade towards the very end to give some definition. So the eyes looking real pretty. I like them. I'm just gonna add some liner and some lashes and I'll be right back. Now we're good to go. I got my lashes on, they're super cute. Make sure you guys check out my website. I'm gonna have it in the description box below. These are my desire lashes, so you can get them. They're super affordable, less than $10. Check it out. Now back to this face now, sis. We are ready for foundation. So I got this foundation brush that comes with it. I didn't really like it that much, but I'm gonna try it again because maybe because it was my first time, I don't know, we'll see. But I got the shade 420. And I actually just bought all of this makeup and I tried it out once. I didn't get the chance to finish recording. I started recording, but I was in a rush. So this is my second time trying all of these products. I already had some of her products, but I never bought a full face like the foundation and everything. And the concealer, I bought like the blush, lip gloss, of course. I love the gloss bomb. And what else did I try? Oh, the highlighters are bomb. I just was honestly too cheap. <laughs> because I have so much makeup. You know, when you have so much makeup, like a new brand comes out and like, why do I have to get every single thing from the brand? And some drugstore products I really love. So I stick with them. But Fenty Beauty definitely is coming through. So for highlighter, we're going in the shade 390. We're gonna focus under my eyes because I got some dark circles. I got a young baby. It surely shows under my eyes. To contour, we're gonna use the Matchstick Espresso. When she first came out with her line, I got this stick and I absolutely loved it. The thing is, I had a makeup client and I don't know which one it was, but one of them stole my damn matchstick and I'm mad. And I know I didn't lose it because I use this constantly. But whatever, I finally got a new one. Concealer brush and blend this. You want to pat, pat, pat. This is the best thing to use instead of your beauty blender. I use a beauty blender to like clean up everything, but a beauty blender really soaks up all the product. We're gonna use the bronzer in Mocha Mommy. This is a bomb. This is like one of my favorite products that I bought. This is a pretty warm chocolatey color. It definitely helps to bring that color into the face and just dab it. Now we have the setting powder in Honey. I'm gonna use this little fluffy brush to dust away the powder. So this 
setting powder is really made to set. I can't get this freaking white cast on. All right, what's gonna help me is using this MAC Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. I use this on all my makeup. It just helps to bring everything together and then it helps to get rid of any white cast. Now we're gonna add the cream blush in Makini Martini. This is so cute and little, I love it. I'm gonna spray my brush and just lightly dab this. We don't wanna mess up our makeup, this is cream. And you would think that this color is super bright, but it's not. It could be because I'm darker, but the more you put on, the brighter it comes. So it's really buildable. Super cute, super cute. And then we're gonna use my all-time favorite Hustler Baby. This is the best highlighter ever. finishing spray for Morphe. This is the best finishing spray ever, hands down. Now, about this, see, it's still leaking. This Do It spray, this is plastic and it broke right here. So it's all gone, I just wasted my money. It was like $27, wasted. But whatever. I tried it once, it was all right, but I really like the Morphe spray. This is the final look, you guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. I love it. MT Beauty was well worth it. I spent over 200 and something dollars. I got it. Um, I got everything on sale for 25% off about a couple weeks ago. They had a 25% off sale. And I was like, mind well take advantage of it and get all of my products. And everything just looks so good. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please show your girls some support. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to that subscribe button below. And until my next video, peace.